Washing our hands is important because it's the biggest, it's the most, most effective way to prevent the spread of disease and infection. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna, you know, we'll focus on that. So when are times that we should wash our hands? After using the bathroom, blowing your nose, coughing, and touching charming things. Yeah, good. Those are all excellent times that we should wash our hands. So, and always before we cook it or anything like that, that's good. So, um, with that being said though, since we know that you have GERD, uh, it's important to know, do you, do you know what GERD is? Uh-uh. No? Okay. So, what it is, is when you, we have these when we swallow, before our food goes down into our stomach, we have this little band kind of at the, at the top of our stomach and at the bottom of our esophagus that will close. Once we food enters the stomach, it closes so that it doesn't come back up, right? Mm -hmm. So then what happens is, is there's kind of an error in this mechanism process. And what happens is, is food starts to kind of creep back up. Mm -hmm. And have you ever um, eaten like a really big meal or a fatty meal and then like laid down and you kind of felt like food was kind of creeping back up here? Mm -hmm. Or kind of felt like acid reflux? And eating? belching. Yeah. Okay. I belch a lot. Yeah. So um, that a lot of that can be caused from that GERD. So it's important to know there are some foods that can actually trigger mm -hmm. that feeling that make you feel like that. So some foods to avoid if you have GERD, um, it doesn't mean that you're allergic to these foods or that you can't ever have them. Mm -hmm. Just typically recommend in moderation. So um, high fatty foods, so like really greasy stuff, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, anything really acidic, so like oranges, orange juice. I eat oranges. I eat oranges and oranges and they don't. Um, do you um, do you look at the labels and things that you're buying? Does. She helps you. Yeah. That's wonderful. So what types of things should you be looking for? High in cholesterol. Yeah, high in cholesterol. Um, what about like sugar? Yeah. Sugar. She tries to give us like sugar free stuff, cat does. Good, that's wonderful. Um, what about like the do you ever look at the calories or anything like that? Not typically? No. Okay. So that would be something to keep in mind too. Um, mm -hmm. looking at calories and things like that. So um why do you think it's important like the cholesterol and the fat and the sugar? Gain weight. Gain weight, but even more important than that. Um, you know, no, no. Mm -hmm. So what happens is if we have high cholesterol levels, um, it can actually put us at greater risk for high blood pressure or a heart attack. Wow, well, I'm already on a blood pressure pill. Right, so that's why we got to get you off that thing, right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So we got to work on that. So, um, so yeah, so this cholesterol plays a big deal because what it does is, you know, you've got your veins and stuff like that and your arteries. So what happens is, is this cholesterol makes this plaque. In, in those veins and stuff like that. So if you have your vein, okay, so like here's our vein, right? Mm -hmm. And so we have our little blood cells that are kind of trying to flow through, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what happens is when you have lots of cholesterol, there's this plaque and it starts building up on the sides, okay? And what happens is it'll keep building up, building up, building up, and then those blood cells can't get through anymore. And that's how you end up having lots of issues things like that, okay? So um, that's why it's important to watch cholesterol levels. That's why your doctor, you know, he could eat that would be uh, considered a serving of bread or grains. Crackers? Crackers. Oatmeal? Oatmeal. Um, bread? Bread. Nuts? Waffles? Rice? Rice, yeah. Yes. Muffins? We, we just had rice last night. There you go, yeah. So they recommend at least about five servings, five to six servings of grain a day, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so then the next tier up here, and these ones kind of play equal parts, the vegetables and the fruits. So mm -hmm. those are a really big part of our diet, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, we really need to make sure we're getting at least two servings of fruit a day, at least, and at least three servings of vegetables a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and I know, and you said you like fruits and vegetables, which is good, because there's a lot of people that don't. Mm -hmm. um, understanding portion size, portion control, things like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I think a lot of times, and I'm, I'm guilty of this myself, what is an acceptable portion size for what mm -hmm. we're eating, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, because while we may, we might feel hungrier, we may want to eat more, you know, that's what we need to control is how much we're eating, right? Okay. So if we look at the plate here, we have our water, right? All right, so we, you know, we talked about our water and all that good stuff. So when we look at grains, it says eat whole grains, limit refried grains, and 
things like that. So that that takes up a pretty nice chunk of the plate, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a whole quarter of the plate for whole grains. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we look at our healthy proteins. So that's kind of like our meat, our fish, things like that, right? Chicken, you know, you name it. And that takes up another quarter of our plate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we look at fruits. Fruits is a little bit smaller of a portion, but it's important that we eat it, right? Mm -hmm. And then we look at vegetables, and vegetables is actually the biggest part of our plate. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, you can typically eat as much vegetables as you want. Vegetables are extremely good for you. We always have vegetables with our dinner. Good, that's wonderful. And Susan loves our vegetables. Good, good, good. Then, well, I wanted to go ahead and uh, plan a menu with you, you mm -hmm. know, so that way we can kind of see, you know, are, you know, do we understand how to plan that important meal and, and all that good stuff? So, um, what what would be a good breakfast if we're looking, if we're trying to follow, let's pull this out. So we wanna make sure we're incorporating the serving size of what's recommended per day, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So let's build a menu that kind of reflects what is recommended, okay? So for breakfast, what should we have, do you think? Cereal. Okay, you wanna do cereal? Good, and what is cereal considered? Grain. A grain. Good job. Okay. Do you like milk in your cereal? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And what is that? Um, dairy. Dairy. Good job. All right. And so what else would you like to have? Banana. A banana? Mm -hmm. Good choice. And that is a? Fruit. A fruit. How you're going to go grocery shopping and do all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions? Uh-uh. No. Oh, no. Do we feel like we learned something? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Good. All right. Do so you have your things to keep? Mm -hmm. All right. And obviously, you know, if you have any questions, you know,